bottom feeder. It's a great little machine. Um, I do have a Riptide, but I decided to get this. And the reason, the main reason for getting this was the portability. The Riptide is pretty portable, but it required two trips. Um, there was just no way to carry the Riptide, the tote, the pole, and the battery box. So it was always a two trip thing. And it, at the end of the day, if you do that, let's say six or seven times, and you're spending, let's say five minutes, right? The extra trip, uncoiling the cable, plugging it into the cable box or to the battery box. And then once you're done doing that all over again, and then taking it back to the truck, that all adds up. So <clears throat> that was the main reason for getting the bottom feeder. <clears throat> Sorry. So the bottom feeder, I can carry everything at once. I can carry the tote, the pole, the net, and the bottom feeder has a handle. So I carry it from there in the same hand that I'm carrying the pole. Pretty easy to do, saves a lot of time. You know, but you can imagine doing that 10 times a day. Um, if, if you're spending five minutes extra, extra with the Riptide, that's 50 minutes that you're saving. And I mean, in this video, you were able to see some leaves on the bottom, some leaves on this um, part that I'm vacuuming right now. And it's pretty easy. Now, what you're going to see is how I maneuver to the to the seat or to the bench and you know I just I just pulled it up and I, I do have to kind of maneuver it until it lays back flat but it wasn't hard to do and the whole time I'm recording with my phone in one hand and in the other hand I just have my pole <clears throat> So pretty easy to maneuver, pretty light. It's about 12 pounds. I'm not gonna say it's super light. You, you still get a little tired, um, especially if you know you gotta raise your arm over bushes or air conditioning units. You know, it will cause a little bit of fatigue, but there we have it, a clean spa. Um, there, I, I just maneuvered over the bench there again, pretty easily. Um, it does not maneuver the same as the Riptide. So it, it did take a, I mean, I just made a week with this thing and it did take some time to get used to. Pulling it out, pretty easy. This will be one handed there. When you pull it up, it kind of goes from that and it kind of turns upside down so the stuff doesn't fall out. And you'll see what I, what I mean right now. Kind of flips like that by itself and then you take it out i use my foot to flatten the bottom feeder out again check that out there we go now we just lay it flat we use a switch turn it off here's a closer look at that switch waterproof switch got to press pretty hard on that uh, protective plastic around it to get that switch to flip on and off but there we have it, clean spa. After that, I just checked chemicals, emptied that basket out, and we were done. If you have any other questions or would like to um, know more about the bottom feeder or any other interesting products out there, please let me know. And if it's a logical purchase, then I'll look into it. Um, one thing I do want to note is, well... We'll make a separate video for that. The bottom feeder versus the Riptide. We'll go a little bit more in depth, but just know that it is more portable and I recommend it. Five out of five.